Rivers and the Pineapple Under the Sea What's up, it's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pitch Solo Art Tutorial In this video we're going to be building Gary the Snail from Spongebob Now I know every single Pitch Solo Art YouTuber has made a Gary from Spongebob I think even their moms have made a Gary the Spongebob Pitch Solo But you know what, it's my turn to make one So for this Gary we're going to be needing some cyan wool, light blue wool, black wool, pink wool, red wool, light grey wool, white wool and then just four blocks of our purple wool. So let's begin with 17 blocks of our black wool. So here we go. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then finally 17. And then we're going to shimmy all the way to the left here after you have your 17 blocks of black wool. Then we're going to grab our light blue wool and we're going to go 1, 2, then two cyans, two light blues, two cyans, and you're going to continue this pattern of two up until you get to the end. And you're going to leave that one little block here because you're going to add a black. Then let's also add a black over here. And there we go. Okay, that's going to be our first two rows of Gary's snail. So once again, 17 black wool blocks. And you're going to have two light blue, two cyan, two light blue, two cyan, two light blue, two cyan, two light blue, and then two more cyan. So now it's time, not let's time, but now it's time to do this little like things that attach to the eyes. I'm not sure if that's his neck or just like his little antennas for the eyes, but whatever. It's going to be made out of eight black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And then on the top here, we're going to place seven blocks going that way. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then a block going down. Now, every so often, after we build a log, I'm going to be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra time. So if I'm going too fast, feel free to stop the video whenever you need to. That way we can keep it going without taking forever. All right, so now what are we going to do, do next? What are we going to do? Let's go, let's go down here. We're going to go over here and we're going to place nine black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're just going to grab our cyan wool and finish this row on the left. So it's going to be nine black wools and then just a row of cyan right here. Then we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to place a block and then one, two, three. So basically like a big letter C. And then in the middle, we're going to go up by three. One, two, and then three. Easy peasy. Just like that, or should I say E, C. Get it? Because that's a C, P, C. Okay, I'm sorry. I should just stop making jokes. All right, so what we're going to do next is that we're going to place a black and then sit sign wolves, but you really don't have to count it. You just have to go straight up just like that. So place a black wool, and then a whole row of six cyan wools. And then on the right, we're going to go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the right, we're going to go down by three. One, two, three. So once again, you're going to place a black wool, six cyan wools, seven black wools, and three black wools. And in this area right here, we're going to grab our cyan wool. We're just going to fill it in all the way to the top, then we're going to grab our light blue wool, we're going to break this block, replace it with cyan, break this block, replace it with our light blue wool. Just like that. And now it's time to do its eyes. So for its eyes, what we're going to do is that we are going to grab our light gray wool and we're going to go one, two, three, and one, two. Then over here, we're going to go one, two, three, and then one, two. So just make sure you guys have those two almost L looking shapes. Then we're going to grab our white and we're going to place one, two, three. And over here, one, two, three. With a black wool in the middle and another black wool in the middle. Now we're going to grab our black and we're going to place three black wools on the left three black wools on the top, three black wools in the middle, three black wools on the top, and another three black wools on the right. So you're just going to place a whole bunch of three black wools all over his eyes. Now 
Now what we're going to do is that up here, we are going to grab our pink. We're going to place a pink, then a black. And then we're going to place five pink wools. So one, two, three, four, five. With five black wools on the top. And then one black wool on the right of this five pink wools. Then we're going to have another pink here with a black on the right. And then we're going to go down here because we're going to place a black wool here. Then a pink with two black wools going up. And another pink. The next to this pink, we're going to go straight up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's time to add that very important detail. That's going to be like the middle spiral of his like little shell. So for that, we're going to grab our pink because we're going to go one, two, three. And then to the left of the green, we're going to go straight up, straight up by five. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Then we're going to place a pink with a red, a pink with two reds. Then over here, we're going to have a pink, a purple, and we're going to go down by two reds. And then here, we need to have two diagonal red wools. So we're going to place a pink, a red, a pink, and a red. So once again, this is going to be made out of five black wools. I'm sorry, red wools. Then one red, two reds, two reds, and then two diagonal red wools. Now it's time to add just a little bit of blocks, not a little bit of blocks, but a little bit of pink so we can attach our purple blocks to give that little bit of detail. So the first block is going to go right up here. We're going to place it in this one, just like so. Make sure you guys place it just right. Then we're going to go down to where this like three blocks of black wool is. We're going to place a purple next to, actually no, we're going to place a pink and then a purple, I'm sorry. And then down here, where you see this one little pink wool, we're gonna add another body of pink. And then a purple on the left. And then finally, the last step, and, 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 with some pink wool. So that's how you build my version of Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. If you wanna stay up to date with all our newest videos, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Tell your friends about us. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you next time. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Nautical nonsense be something you wish. Bye, 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 bye. Then drop on the deck.